Hello and welcome to Only Stupid Answers. My name is Sam Basher. My name is DJ Wooldridge. And we are happy to bring you another review of The Mandalorian. We're talking about Chapter 2, colon, The Child. The Child. Target in hand, The Mandalorian must now contend with scavengers. Yee! That's, yeah, that's the it. Jawas. That's, yeah, yeah. That, I, d- this uh, episode certainly felt like a side mission in a video game. It's yes. like, uh-oh, you're gonna, you can't, like, you go and you do, like, a fetch mission, yeah. you find the thing, but uh-oh. Your ship's been You're ransacked. out of fuel, yeah, and yeah. you gotta go do the thing. You gotta go get the hairy egg. <laughs> that was, when they looked at when he brushed it, I was like, mm. <laughs> I think this might be the first gross thing that bothers me in, in Star Wars is the hairy, muddy egg. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The, the testicle that he has to pull yeah. out. <laughs> that, it, the single. The single but testicle that wow, he has to... Wow, this episode ruled. How great would that have been if he killed the... There was a name for the rhino monster, uh, but he killed it, rolled it over, and cut off one testicle egg. to, yeah, <laughs> to take it back. To and then the jaw was went and... <laughs> <laughs> oh, jawas are little shits. <laughs> <laughs> no, I really liked. So when we did our our first review, I enjoyed the first episode, but I didn't love it as much as other people seemed to love it. This episode, specifically the first half, was really good. The first half, where it's he almost completely, it's it is completely dialogue free, and he gets back, and a ship has been ransacked by Jawas, like r- heavily ransacked. Like they did swift work. He wasn't gone. That, actually, he was gone for like a day or two. Still, uh, that's a. That was all. That was impressive. They work were on their part. Yeah, 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 yeah. They they saw him land and they didn't wait a second. And then he then he tries to raid and does fairly successfully because you think Jawas are like weak sauce, like Jawas, but they do have rolling fortresses mm-hmm. that are uh, relatively effective at keeping capable people out. This is why I love the idea of a live action Star Wars show because it gets to explore something that like. I'm a light Star Wars fan mm-hmm. and I don't want to talk about more. <laughs> I don't want to talk about that more. When it came to the Jawas, it didn't really matter. As a kid, I just liked that they made little funny beep sounds. Yeah, and yeah, they, yeah. They, all their eyes are two little lights inside the hood. Yes. So when you had to like go inside of the fortress and look around, that was pretty cool. Or yeah. a regular-sized person got to go inside of it, and it's really small on the yeah. inside. Because, of course, yep. it's still a fortress, yep. but it's tiny. They don't need yeah, to make it bigger. Tiny. They didn't make a rolling fortress. They're but just yeah, dropping that, trash. <laughs> uh, the, the, so that whole sequence, and, and the, the show is kind of settled into, and I don't know if it's going to, how long it's going to continue to be this way, but it's basically Lone Wolf and Cub in the Star Wars universe. You know, it's him with the kid, and he's just going on space adventures. You know what I mean? And and that was a, was really good. And and Rick... Uh, uh, Fama Iwa. Fama Uwe, Famuiwa. Sorry, yeah, I've, yeah, I've yeah, learned yeah, it because yeah, I had yeah. to say it so many times. Yeah, yes. thank you. I really appreciate Who that. Who did dope? Who did dope? Um, and was for a minute supposed to do the Flash movie. All right, I feel like we dropped the ball on that one, but uh, because he does incredible visual storytelling through this, um, I, I felt like it was if the the visual direction felt a lot sturdier, mm-hmm. especially well, when just, he's trying to fix his armor by the campfire. There's the scene where he's walking next to the, I, I've seen on, online. There's a name for the floating egg that the like baby crib, is, yeah. Yeah, yeah, is in when you see them like walking on the horizon and the eggs floating next to him. A lot of really cool visuals. And I episode. love the idea of like kind of doing the keep away with the crib when he's fighting yeah. the, the Ryan, the mud rhino where it's, yeah. he's just kind of like kind of whiffing it out of the way. Yep. And uh, also, just fun, just learning so much about the Mandalorian. I knew that it was kind of like a religion mm-hmm. for them, and it was they verify that in this. I totally forgot that the guns just make people disappear. Bye bye. <laughs> they are yeah. totally gone. Yep. Except for the coats. Except for the coats, which yeah. is very War of the World Steven Spielberg remake. Yeah, it's also a cool visual. I saw mm-hmm. somebody was just like, "Wait, are those like the strongest coats?" It's just a cool visual. Like it yeah. just looks cool. Yeah, you don't need to overthink that. Yeah. part. Yeah, and the uh, and also the episode episode opens when he fights those lizard people. Right, that was a really good fight. Yeah, that was a really cool fight. And you're kind of just looking at it through the eyes of the little baby Yoda. Yeah. Uh, someone called it something, and it's gonna come to me eventually. Two reviews after this, and yeah, I'm gonna yeah, yeah. yell it out. So make sure you watch all of our content from the chain of thought. And I've seen spec people people like wonder like could it be like a reincarnation of yoda apparently this takes place like five years after return of the jedi so yoda's only been dead like the baby the baby <laughs> baby's 50 years old yoda's only been gone six years could be his kid though yeah i'm kind of hoping gone for a while i'm kind of hoping there's zero connection to other than the same species zero connection to yoda because and whatever these things are they're really rare and they're incredibly powerful in yeah the force. and they're they're force sensitive which yeah. is at least that's Yaddle is getting yeah. a lot of love right now, mm-hmm. mainly because it's really fun Maybe to say. Maybe it's Yaddle's kid. Yeah. <laughs> what if we teach this one to speak the right way forward? 
We can only hope. We can, we can only, only hope. hope. It's only going to take, what, like 100 years? Oh, my God. He, all of his loved ones will be dead so many times over. <laughs> That's awful. Yeah. But there's something just so endearing. Like, I love when when he's at the fire, he's fixing up his armor, and yeah. it gets out, and he kind of tries to, like, go over and touch him. He's like... Yeah, <laughs> cut it out. I like the implication, because at the end of the episode, when he's talking to Nick Nolte's character... the Nick Nolte asked him to explain what happened again, and he's unsure what happened. And it's a good reminder that, like, they might not know. Like, it, they might not, like, granted, it's not really that long since you, the episode one through three. Mm-hmm. Um, that, that, baby was, ship that baby was probably born then. Yeah. So, but the fact that during the original trilogy era, the only people that would really know about the Force were using the Force is Luke and his dad. Mm-hmm. Everybody else is SOL, like, on what. what what all that entails. And also, they just might not know what he, like, what Yoda, like, they don't know anything about his biology or yeah. where he comes from and for, like, they don't know what they're in for. It was a very, it was one of those magical scenes when he lifts up the rhino. Because yeah. it's like, I really hope he doesn't do something violent. I don't want him to, like, he's watching his dad now. Yeah, yeah, he's yeah, imprinted yeah. on him and yeah. he's going to be violent and he's going to be a murderer. I'm into violent Yoda, actually. Yeah, it could be cool, <laughs> yeah. but I like that the baby wasn't. Yeah. This 50 year old elderly does, baby. Hey, listen, it does eat a frog whole. <laughs> Yeah, and he, you brought this up. He He's going to need to change he's, the diaper eventually. I bet, especially when it was in that force coma for a minute. Could you imagine 50 years <laughs> of not knowing how to use a bathroom? Yeah. Like, I, that's a burden. Yeah. That's a burden on society <laughs> if you can't figure that out. That's the only reason Warner Herzog wants to get rid of that baby. That baby's <laughs> a burden on society. They're just going to put in the egg, close it up, and go ahead and kick it right in the space. <laughs> These things are menaces. Um <laughs> Yeah, I can't. I'm very interested to see where it goes from here. Man, you mentioned this before we started recording, but it's nice that it's like it was like a just a little over thirty minutes. Yeah, nice. I think it's smart because especially early Netflix days, especially when we started doing our or screen or wash alongs for the Marvel Netflix shows, like no, everyone needs to be fifty minutes or over. And it's like it's a streaming platform. You're not you don't have to fill in ads. You don't have to fit a specific block. It can kind of be whatever. Yeah, it wouldn't it be better if it was more rewatchable? Because yeah. if we plowed through in 30 minutes i'm like i might actually watch that again later this week yeah and i also don't know if so i don't know if maybe the episodes are meant to be about 30 minutes and the first episode was longer or maybe it's kind of whatever but you know there's there's spending the time and the money on them it's like whatever it needs to be there was a moment in that first half i'm like what if episode two we're doing something really expen- experimental and it's completely dialogue free like primal mm-hmm. it's like that would be i would be blown away if disney let that Disney Plus let that go. They didn't. They, there's there's talking, yeah. but uh, but I did like that they allowed that first thirty minutes or not the show, episode thirty minutes. That first like ten to fifteen, like like breathe, mm-hmm. you know. And you just got to sit with the characters and see that like while he is like a mercenary and he's a hired gun, it's like he does. He, there's like a sincerity to him. Yeah. But also, he does get more money if it, the thing's alive. Yeah. So. I, w- I I will argue that I think Mando is more interesting when he's not talking. Oh, because at the end, would you do like your solemn silence? It's more types. that once he's talking to, whenever he's talking to people, he kind of becomes less complicated. Like when he's talking to Nick Nolte, he's like, "Yeah, man, you take some of my thing." He's just super nice, mm-hmm. and it's like that's not interesting. You know what I mean? That's not like we have a whole galaxy full of nice people doing nice things. I think it'd be more interesting if if what motivated him and how he operated was more complicated and gave him room. To grow, you know, as opposed to like maybe he starts as a bad person and he grows into a better person as opposed to he's, he's a pretty chill dude already. He's chill, but also he is ruthless. We did see no. him slice a member of Squid Guy. Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. He's he's dead and he's super cut in Squid half. Squid Guy shot for, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> McClunky. Uh, <laughs> yeah, that's not, I, well I, worth the I, Disney Plus <laughs> subscription. Just so I can watch that again. I didn't even rewatch the whole Star Wars uh, movie. I just watched that part. Delightful. <laughs> George Lucas broke into the. <laughs> studio. It, was like, it was like Mission Impossible. He like lowers and in. He just opened. He just put a mic up to his mouth. And went, clunky. And he just hit render on that premiere file, and he he got his ass out of there quick. Anyways, I had one more comment. Oh, but I, I see what you're saying, and yeah. I don't disagree. Not that he's bad. Right. He's just he's just kind of like he's just a good guy. But I did like he's a good guy. But I like the honor of it, where mm-hmm. it's like kind of like a well, he's a knight. But like yeah. it, you get a lot of medieval King Arthur kind yeah. of vibes, samurai, and, um, yeah, yeah uh, and, western, yeah. And I do like that he was trying to do something honorable. Yeah. Nice, it is nice, but yeah. also at the same time, it's like. You have gone way above and beyond to help me Sincerely, out. Sincerely, yeah. yeah. And so, and, and it felt like 
this this is an honorable thing to do. No, he still like, might hawk a baby into a son. So he's, he's like, you're doing me a favor by getting the hell out of here. Now get out. <laughs> yeah, you gave me a new horse dog uh, uh, fish, yeah. and you don't. I don't want to talk to you anymore. Yeah. You know how I keep saying I have spoken. Yeah. That means the conversation ended about three times ago, and you are not gone yet. <laughs> <laughs> Please leave. I'm gonna be like that when I'm a parent. I have spoken. Yeah. You're gonna not talk to me yeah, anymore, yeah, kid. Yeah. No, it's done. Conversation over. Yeah, man. that's your version of I because I said so. Because I said so, I've spoken. Yeah, it's way more solemn. Yeah, big fan. Uh, honestly, you got me hooked. The, yeah. This, not that the Disney Plus subscription wasn't validated before, because I have watched Mickey Mouse, which mm-hmm. that those animated shorts delightful. Uh, Forky asks a question. Great. Forky asks a question. Mm-hmm. Really good. Uh, and a lot of, and watched Moana like three times now so the Disney Plus subscription is well worth what I'm saying is the original content is also making it well worth yeah, it too yeah. so I will be watching more of this yeah. I give this episode a solid like 9 out of 10 I really didn't I have re- any criticisms minus that like I'm excited to get back to the main story but I didn't mind this side mission I want more Werner Herzog I do yeah uh, what did I give the last one <sighs> I think like thing was like an eight, so yeah. I give this one an eight point five. I yeah. give that first half like a nine. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And also, some people in the comments were asking. We called it a C plus when we said seven point five in one of our reviews. We're doing it off the American grading system, which is super confusing. Yeah. So go you're ahead and welcome. You're very very welcome. I mean, Cinema Score does the same thing. So we're in League of the Pros. So <laughs> let us know what you thought of episode two and end of episode three. We, based on how this one does, and if you guys would like it, we will do more of these reviews. Yeah. Also, the upload schedule for this show blows so, a little bit. So <laughs> I, I think what happened was they did, they wanted to have an episode at launch, but from here on out, it drops on Fridays. There is a random like Tuesday in there though. Is there? Yeah, it does. That is confusing. Yeah, so that's yeah, why. when I was looking, it looked like all Fridays. So yeah, we'll Majority we'll see. Fridays. Yeah. So go ahead and tune in. We're also doing Titans, and we're talking about other shows. Yes. We could do Rick and Morty, but we have to know if you guys want it. So let us know let at us Twitter, know. at Sam Basher, at DJ Talks Trash, mm-hmm. at Only Stupid Answers. You can come to Bells from Stupid. Bing, bing, boom. Also, patreon.com slash Only Stupid Answers. That's how you pay for the lights and the sets. and mm-hmm. the. And that was a gift. Um, and yeah. also, there's a pup down there sleeping. Shh. Don't wake her. Come on. Support that dog. Check support out Patreon. Support the pup. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye.